to transfer the racks and then install it. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up some uh, hard dummy panel so that we can grab onto and move ourselves around for rack transfer. And the, the rack transfer um, also is important for the next day's activity. Correct. Um, why? Uh, well, uh, we need two uh, racks for channel A activation. Um, those are not installed uh, for launch. Mm -hmm. So we'll have to move those around. And then uh, also the GEM RMS, GEM robotic arm uh, rack is also not in the pressurized module. So we'll have to move that in there in order to activate the GEM RMS. Flight day six, um, can you give us an idea of what the the main items on the on on that schedule on that day. Um, I think flight day six uh, EVA two is going on, and inside we'll be transferring racks and getting ready for channel A activation. Now, uh, in a nominal situation, we'll have channel B activated already, mm -hmm. so uh, Scuba Space Center can start commanding for the channel A activation. So our main job is doing physically. Uh, rack transfer, uh, hooking up umbilicals, and all that, and then all the commanding ground can do. Okay. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about the, the, the TV equipment that's going to be installed on Jim? What, uh, mm -hmm. How much more, um, how much will it help you when mm -hmm. you when you have having to fly the arm? What, what kind of views and, and how much versatility mm -hmm. does, does it have? Okay. Um, uh, during EVA2, uh, Mike and Ron will install the two uh, vision equipments outside. Those are the, the gem cameras outside. And it sticks out on the port end of the uh, pressurized module. Mm -hmm. uh, the main purpose of that is for the exposed facility. So until then, um, for, for gem itself, there's not a whole lot uh, of use except for gem RMS uh, activities. We use that to check the clearance, you know, how the arm is moving, which way it's going, and all that, just to visually check. And uh, we found out that uh, if it looks uh, stationed aft, mm -hmm. it has a very good view of the truss. Wow. And when we're doing uh, some SSRMS activities uh, after, uh, later in our mission, that provides a great view. So I'm, we're hoping that we can get that activated for that uh, activity. On flight day seven, um, well, one of the activities is focus inspection mm -hmm. that, that's scheduled. But one of the other big things is, is moving uh, the logistics pressurized module mm -hmm. too. Can you kind of give us an idea of, of how that's going to happen? Sure. Um, Carol will be the uh, prime operator for that, and she'll be flying the uh, station arm to grab onto the uh, logistics module, bring it up from node two, and then moving over to the pressurized module, the gem pressurized module, and bring it down. Um, I'll be uh, the prime CBM operator. Those are the docking rings uh, between the modules. So um, I'll be uh, demating the module, and then waiting for Karen to bring over the, the logistics module and then uh, mating it to the, the uh, GEM pressurized module. Okay. And we touched on some rack transfers earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, those are particularly important for this day, though. What, what, has, to be, what has to happen before this JLP the, can be moved? Uh, yes. The, uh, the JLP needs to be completely empty. Um, uh, we're, the plan is to not have any racks inside because we're we're trying not to freeze any racks just in case if uh, a heater failed mm -hmm. and we can't uh, have the the uh, module warmed up. Okay. Um, can you uh, tell us what's involved in, in uh, deploying the Japanese robotic arm? Either initial and eventually final, oh, I guess. Oh, okay. Or? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, well, it turned out that uh, we need to do initial deploy in order for the EVA crews to go access uh, some of the uh, launch locks. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it, it was too close in the launch configuration to the, the module itself so that uh, Ron and Mike cannot access those launch locks. 
So um, what we're trying to do is to deploy it just a little bit, and that's called the initial deploy, and so that they can access. It's not too far. Mm -hmm. It's not too close. Uh, just right. And uh, we'll leave it there. We'll have them take off the launch logs, and then uh, we'll do a final deploy so that's away from the module. And then uh, later in the mission, we'll do a checkout of the arm, uh, making sure that the brakes are working correctly, and then move it into a stowage uh, configuration. Okay, and, and you'll be doing the initial deploy? You'll be yes. driving it? Mm -hmm. any, any pressure? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, it's the first time to, to fly that arm, and it's very close to the structure, so you, you don't want to bang it in to the module and mm -hmm. breaking, um, you know, damaging the arm or the module. So we'll be very, very careful. Okay. Any other feelings about just being the first, first one? I mean, this has been a long time coming. It has. And I think more than myself, I think the folks uh, in SCUBA are going to be very, very excited. Okay. All it's right. going to be a big day for them. Okay. Um, then there's also... Uh, more outfitting that day, uh, this time the HLT, logistics module. Yes. So mm -hmm. is that as involved as? as not, not as much. Um, uh, the, the GEM pressurized module has some water loops, mm -hmm. so you have those lines. The logistics module does not, so you, you don't have to hook up uh, water lo loops. So uh, what we'll do uh, for the current plan is to hook up power and data to warm up the uh, logistics module. Okay. Um, later, we may uh, get to it, or maybe not, but we'll hook up the other power jumpers and uh, data connections. But uh, that might be a stage activity. Okay. All right. Um, what about uh, flight day nine? Uh, what, what's, what's the plan for, for that day? Uh, that will be EVA three day, and the biggest thing for the arm operators, um, Karen Nyberg and myself, would be to help out Ron um, to do the NTA R and R, and it's a big windshield maneuver over the truss. Mm -hmm. So we'll we'll have uh, Ronnie wait at the uh, S1 truss where the old NTA is. Uh, we'll. He'll ingress the APFR, the foot restraint, on the big arm, the station arm. And then he'll uh, re uh, remove the uh, old MTA. We'll bring him over to AS ESB3. They'll swap out the new and the old MTAs, and we'll bring him back. So it's a, it's a big uh, activity between EVA and the SSRMS. Uh, it's my understanding that the English translation of, of uh, Kibo, the, the nickname for mm -hmm. the, the gym module, is hope. Yes. Uh, once this mission is completed, what do you hope?